Hey everyone, Old Man Pete here. Got my Christmas decorations. <laughs> Merry Christmas, or whatever you celebrate. Merry, merry. Uh, let's watch some Letterman and have a good laugh. And let's do it with headphones, because then I can hear it. Duh. Pick up right where we left off. Okay, let's do it. Oh, first of all, I need a beverage. Man, I am parched. Okay, here is an extensive exhibit of A, rocks, B, minerals, C, stuff found in falafel. Okay, I didn't get the setup of this. I guess it's, it looks like a museum of some kind. Multiple choice test in a museum. <laughs> Future falafel. Here we see A, some people waiting for their friends, B, some early arrivals for a tour, C, the line for stop or my mom will shoot. I love that wacky piano music. Oh, boy, I'm glad you do. <laughs> at least I got a place to work. <laughs> uh, this, gentleman, this gentleman can be heard asking this woman, A, isn't this museum wonderful? B, aren't birds fascinating? C, I'm Senator Brock Adams. May I touch you? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't remember that. Here we see A, a retired couple, B, some dinosaur buffs, C, a third base coach on vacation. <laughs> Giving signs. Signs. Right. Making the signs. Like that was him on vacation. Coach. Third base coach on vacation. I got it. I can't get over it. The guy bullies his way down here. He's strong. -armed. He pretty much just extorts his way onto the show. And then when he returns to his seat, it's like, oh my gosh, Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. I don't, I, don't know. I don't know who he's talking about. I like that whenever there's a camera either, there's always some guy leaning in like... <laughs> We're very near the end of civilization, ladies. <laughs> Uh, in this exhibit, visitors can follow A, the history of tribal medicine, B, the story of black magic, C, the various stages of Cher's plastic surgery. <laughs> uh, these youngsters were overheard to ask, A, how big do gorillas get? <laughs> B, did this one live in Africa? C, hey, did you hear that? <laughs> That's cute. We're hoping to win a Peabody Award. <laughs> <laughs> Here we see A, a group of teachers, B, some first time museum visitors, C, the new kosher kids on the block. <laughs> Number nine. Here we see the dog we see here. A has wandered from his master. B smells something by the hot dog cart. C was never heard from again. Oh. No. Oh. Ah, uh, let's see. Here we see A, museum groundskeepers. B, members of the maintenance staff. C, a scene from the unsuccessful movie Three Men and Another Man. <laughs> Uh, here, as, as he enjoys the lawn in front of the museum, this man can be heard telling his pet, A, let me fix your collar. B, let's head on home, boy. C, give me back my gum. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Is that it? All right. Uh, let's see. As anyone watching uh, this television show must certainly know by now, movies are your best entertainment. That's why I recently took some of the uh, staff to the movie theater right across the street here in New York for an afternoon of wholesome fun. Beauty and the Beast, so uh, early 90s.
That's gross. That was good. I like that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, people ask me from time to time, how, how big is your staff? And I say, geez, I don't know, 30, 35, 40 people. And, and what kind of people are they? And I say, well, normal human beings just like you and me. And many of them have interesting, unusual talents, tricks, oddities, or peculiarities that they can do to be really entertaining from time to time. So <laughs> we thought tonight we'd take a couple of minutes here to show you some of those. I'm sorry, I just, is that like the most god-awful looking tie you've ever seen? The color, the pattern? <laughs> it just, I'm sorry, I don't mean to put it down, but that's just, I couldn't get over that tie he's wearing. <laughs> I'll begin with a little talent here. I have five quarters, regulation American coinage. There you go, in my right hand. Ooh. Count with me at home. Ooh, two. Ooh. I have to loosen, loosen it, up, it up, here. up a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at that! I'm gonna eat this entire Carvel cake. Oh great! Okay. You want to begin now? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's still a little it's frozen, cold. Yeah. yeah so it's have you good. ever eaten an entire Carvel cake before? Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Madeline Smithberg has a head full of muscles. Here we go. Moving her hair. I can do I'm that. I'm standing right next to you. It's, it's even more impressive like that. It's really nice to meet you. Do it again. All right. Goodbye, Madeline. Bye. Nice to see you. See you at the Christmas party. All right, maybe. I was in a TV commercial right? once. How long ago? Uh, uh, about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. what, what for? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Did you make money off of the deal? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look at it now. Prom tonight. What do we start? A Sure. Yeah. Is this safe? Well, I guess you can't talk now, can you? Mm -hmm. hey. ah. Yikes. Of course, it's um, Mary Connolly and Mary. You're going to uh, toss balls for us, right? Throw footballs. All right, go right ahead. Good luck. Thank you. She's a thoroughbred. She's a machine. to sing for us? Yes. All right, Barbara, can we have a, a note, please? Sure. Is that for you? Is that all right? Okay, go right ahead. I can walk like you. You're going to walk like me? Yeah. All right, let's see that. Okay, here we go. Ready? That's good. Yep. 
Ready? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm ready. ready. Well, it didn't, Whoa. strictly speaking, it didn't flip, did it? <laughs> you just Can heaved we... it. That still didn't flip. All right, come on. You're okay. supposed to yank it out from okay. under the omelet, aren't you? Now you... Yeah, very nice. Got <laughs> kind of flip scrambled eggs. Good job. Thanks. Barbara, when you're done with the ice cream, help yourself to the omelet. <laughs> Thank you. Stick a camel cigarette right up your nose. That's pretty good. Nice Thank job. You. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be working with you. Ice cream. Oh. Hal Gurney's very own salute to spring. Please enjoy this at home, if you will. It's beautiful so far. It's very nice. Oh, look, it's little lambs and some more flowers. Very, very nice job. A newborn uh, calf there. Isn't that cute? Yeah, very, very nice. Field of wildflowers. They grow like that wild, just like that. Hey, wait a minute. We thought we should go up to Yankee Stadium and just kind of fine tune. My, my pitching. Yeah, so that's what we did with the help of uh, Yankee pitching coach Mark Connor. And uh, here, enjoy this. Sorry, right, had to itch my nose. All right, here we go. <laughs> ah! Oh, jeez! Oh, man, did you hear that? It really cracked. Oh, God! Woo! Ha! Ha! Did you hear that pop? I think what you did, David, is you broke some adhesions in there. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> you know, I don't need that operation Tommy John had. But I'm thinking about getting it. Just just to get it? Just for the hell of it. Sir. We'd like for all our pitchers to get in a position that we call a gathering position. Yeah. Or a balanced position. Yeah. And you don't ever get to that right now. Yeah. So this could really help your, your career. But but I I don't look like a girl when I'm throwing. Oh no, no, no. 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 You have possibly. I don't look like a girl. Here we go. Here comes the heater. Wait till it stops before you pick it up, Mary. <laughs> there it is, see? Yeah. Nastiness. Oh, oh, sorry. You get a cup? <laughs> no cup. <laughs> now we're in a cup, Mary. Be careful. You know, I was here once before, Mark, <clears throat> taking some batting practice about two years ago, three years ago. And uh, we had the guy who pitches batting practice. What's his name? Tony Ferrara. That's right, Tony. Very nice man. And he grooved me one. I mean, there was nothing on it. And I took it right over the facade. Did you? Yeah. Over the bond facade? I'm the only civilian to ever actually leave the stadium. Fair ball. <laughs> Show stop your heater. <laughs> See, I love that. What other line of work could you use that sentence? Show stump your heater. That's great. That's great. Up, the ball's up, it registers slower. You gotta get it down. <laughs> hey, you, have to, you get the clock up here. Yep. Hey, playing with your tie. Well, I want hey, to put the, the clock on your tie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in the space of a half hour that we've been out here, your delivery has gone from being a mechanical hurricane into being almost acceptable. It, I think I've loosened a kidney <laughs> uh, curve. <laughs> and spitting, you can spit. It's okay to spit on the mound, right? Sure. All right, I have, I have two. I have just the regular. I have that one. And then I have this one. The second one, that's intimidating. Stump and I have been talking here, and we, we think that, uh, that David's not going to work out for our ball club, but you are. Mary might be the prospect. I knew, I knew, damn, I knew this would happen. All right, I will be coming to your town soon. Those were funny entertaining some of them were kind of cute <laughs> just fun to watch now some of those really just made me laugh oh my gosh <laughs> God. 
And I've said it before, it's healthy to laugh. It's good to just have a good laugh every day. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I want to keep doing these. Um, they're funny. They're entertaining. I hope you like it, like watching them with me. If you do, give the video a like, a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe. So thanks for watching. Happy holidays. Have a nice night. Bye.